Is there a pop culture anymore, like a thing that everyone agrees is the pop culture right now? Or are we just all too balkanized to recognize a single, like, pop cultural moment? I mean, I think it's very segmented. I think that, um, I I've never felt a bigger divide from people, like, five years younger than I am. It does seem like the kids today have their own celebrities because of Instagram or Snapchat, which I tried for an hour to figure out on Sunday, and I ended up throwing my phone in a fish tank, and I don't even keep fish. So um, <laughs> I, I think that there's definitely more, and there are people that sort of find each other, and the weird stuff can thrive a little bit more easily, but is there a pop culture? I, I, cer I certainly hope for, I certainly hope so for future generations of kids like me that grew up watching more film and TV than they did socializing with their peers in a healthy way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, oh, oh, so in other words, the, the distance you, you put between yourself and other human beings mm -hmm. is what leads you now to be a creative artist because you have no life with humans. It's a life. I mean, it's it's a small life, but no, no, exactly. That's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it is. And instead of learning to connect with, like, I don't remember when I had my first kiss, but I remember the day that the cable was installed. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> it was me a too. huge day. I kissed the cable guy. Did you? <laughs> well, Julie, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Congratulations on difficult people. Difficult People, season two, premieres July 12th on Hulu. Julie Klausner, everybody.